Hi, I'm Xue Qian. I will talk about our paper, Neural Synflow Wire. This work was done with Johnny and Simon during my research internship at Argo AI. Recent exciting research on 3D view synthesis has drawn a lot of attention. One seminal work is NERV. One of the novel innovations is the coordinate-based network that is used for continuous scene representation. In our work, we explore the ability of coordinate-based networks in solving scene flow with no training data. And to our best knowledge, we are the first to use a coordinate-based network to directly address the large-scale real-world scene flow problem in autonomous driving scenarios. Scene flow is the motion field of a 3D dynamic scene. Imagine we have a point cloud assembled from the surfaces of a scene using a LiDAR sensor at time t minus 1 as S1. And at time t, when things have moved a bit, we assemble another point cloud of the scene as S2. Then for a specific point in S1, we want to find the translational vector f that best transforms the point to its corresponding point in S2. The collection of all the translational vectors is the scene flow f. We revisit the non-learning scene flow methods in real-world autonomous driving things without labeled training data. For the traditional optimization-based approach, it minimizes the point distance d between the two-point cloud S1 and S2 to get the explicit scene flow f. However, with many depths and aperture ambiguities, the optimization is ill-conditioned. Thus, traditional non-learning-based methods need an explicit regularizer c to smooth the estimated flow. For example, a graph reflection. However, it is a parameter-specific and discrete representation, and it requires heavy computation to construct the graph. Instead, we proposed to use a neural scene flow prior. Specifically, we use architecture of a coordinate MLP as a new type of implicit regularizer. In our formulation, the explicit scene flow f is replaced by an implicit coordinate network G, parameterized by theta. Therefore, the optimization becomes minimizing the point distance D to find the optimal network parameters theta. The neural prior in our method acts as a strong implicit regularizer that constrains highly dynamic motion fields to be as smooth as possible. This is a figure showing the accuracy and computation time of our method compared to the non-learning method graph prior. It indicates that our method with an implicit network regularizer is orders of magnitude faster than the previous non-learning method using an explicit regularizer, while achieving better accuracy on the KD dataset. Here we show a dynamic scene from the Algorist dataset. For this color wheel, the intensity encodes the magnitude and the angle denotes the direction of the flow vector. For example, the dark magenta vehicle in the center is heading northeast. The figure shows that the estimation of our method is very close to the ground truth. We also compare our method with supervised, self-supervised, and non-learning-based methods. The table shows that our method achieved better performance in most datasets and metrics. For example, the endpoint error of our method is 0.05 meters on the KD and 0.159 meters on the algorithm, which is much lower than other methods. It highlights the supervised methods lacks generalizability when applied to other of the distribution data, while our method is robust generalizing to various datasets. Now let's take a look at the optimization process. The predicted scene flow is shown at the top row and the flow field is at the bottom row. 
Here we randomly initialize the weight of the neural synflow prior. At iteration 0, the synflow and the flow field are random and have small magnitudes for random directions. On the right top row, we show a pseudo ground truth flow. The red arrow shows the position and direction of the autonomous car. In this figure, the car stops to wait for the pedestrian to cross the road. As the iteration increases, the endpoint error decreases and the estimation accuracy increases. As the optimization went on, the flow fields became better constrained and the sync flow became more and more reliable and similar to the ground truth. Suppose we already have this continuous flow field at iteration 2000 and 100. Then sampling a point around the orange region here, the direction of the flow vector will be pointing southeast as the green arrow shows, similar to the vehicles in the orange region. The continuous sync flow field allows us to recover an estimated flow vector sampled at any location in a 3D space. An example of the application is point cloud densification. The left and the middle columns show a top and front view of the densified point cloud, and the right column is accumulated point cloud projected onto the image. Note here the smearing effect on the dynamic cars when we use ICP to rigidly accumulate the point cloud. In contrast, densification using our method is clean and consistent. The densified point cloud can be used for mapping and creating dense depth map. Here is a video showing the original sparse point cloud sequence compared to the densified point cloud sequence.